So card number two is going to be a fun little, a tiny little note card. Tiny little note. Okay, so this is what we're starting with. So we have kind of like this Astro Parch kind of base paper. And then we have all our little pieces here. We have this ribbon. We got these two little decorative paper here, the little note piece here, and of course the little mouse. So cute. Um, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color the mouse just a little bit more. Um, I just want to give it just a little bit more separation between like his stomach and his legs and stuff. So it just kind of makes it a little bit more interesting here. I'm just going to add a tiny little bit of color here um, to his hands and his little paws and he's also to his ear okay all right and then i'm also because i'm going to be he's the idea is that he was blowing like wishes and since these lips are a little funky i'm just going to add um a little kind of mouse nose onto the little end there and you'll see what i'm going to do here in a minute so this is what i did i know it looks super weird but i'm going to go ahead and just cut that out now um just in the last card i was telling you i would never cut out like tails or antennae so i am cutting off the mouse tail here Okay, so I'm going to cut around. I'm cu cutting on the outside of the black line here so that there's this nice separation. Except when I get to the, uh, mouse, the mouse nose, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lips off. And you can see that little nose that I drew is actually the per in the perfect space. And he looks so cute now. And he is just like looking up and he's going to be perfect. Okay, so he's not blowing any wishes now. All right, so he looks like this. I think he turned out pretty cute little nose pretty fun okay so now he's going to be holding this is his little note oh i love it so what you're going to want to do is we're actually going to be trimming this okay i did this on purpose all right so we're trimming this down to size so it's really the littlest note maybe you can possibly get in fact if you can go any even littler you can go even littler okay but on the sides, I'm going to go ahead and use, have a skewer in here for some reason. I'm going to use, um, well, it's actually a pick um, here for poking out die cuts. I'm actually going to curl the ed ends of this just a little bit. If I can, I'm going to curl the whole thing. Okay. So I curled the whole thing and I'm going to uncurl it a little bit. So then that way it's kind of like, he's kind of holding like a little, a little note. Maybe that was like a, a message in a bottle or something. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many ideas. Okay. So now we're going to create our little scene here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue my decorative um, kind of floral looking paper on the top and bottom here. I'm going to give it a little bit of an eighth of an inch border on the top and bottom, just because then um, it just makes it the, um, floral stand out the floral pattern stand out a little bit more okay. just like that all right and then we're going to stick our little mouse guy he's going to be standing on this little edge here and he's going to be holding the little note oh gosh it's just so cute i'm only so because this note is curled like this i'm going to be putting just a little bit of glue right here on the end and then it's like he's kind of reaching out anyway so he's just going to be holding that thing that says a little note and i'm actually going to put a little bit more glue down there the idea is i only want to put a little bit of glue not on the top and bottom though um because i really like that it's going to kind of curl like that i just think that's so cute oh my gosh i love this okay so this right here which is the back side of this paper i thought would be cute as like a little cork board Oh my gosh, so cute. So you may need to turn it so that it can fit your little piece of paper. And then this is going to be the little top of the corkboard, right? Oh, and I did give you some little dimensional dots in here. And so those are going to go on the back side of your little corkboard topper. So then that way your little corkboard has a little bit of dimension there. Okay. Oh, I got to go back and add the little mouse tail. I haven't done that yet. All right. So this is going to go on the top of my little cork board. I'm going to give it just a little bit of black at the top. So then that way it's a nice separation. It's going to stick on here. So cute. I'm actually going to scoot that over a little bit because I'm going to be tying a bow on the side. Okay. All right. Now you can have your little notes and stuff and whatever you want to write for your little cork board. You may even have like a little, little notes up here at the top. I don't know yet. So you can kind of decide what you want to do there. So I'm going to add a couple little things. I'm going to kind of curl the ends of that just a little bit. So it's like notes are sticking on the board. So cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
and oh so much fun and then I feel like I need to do something over here I think I'm gonna make a tiny little shelf <gasps> oh my gosh I know exactly what I'm gonna do here we can make tiny little books oh my gosh there's so many ideas okay we can make little bottles of ink I'm gonna go ahead and just in this little piece of paper here just draw a line just on the inside of the paper so you can that way kind of looks like that way there's more separation there for the top of the bookcase I'm gonna write little book titles um let's see how to trick um, cheese recipes and mice tales. All right, cute. Okay, now my little mini bookshelf. So fun. For my little bookshelf, I want it to kind of look like wood grain a little bit. Oh, I gotta make sure to glue those on. So I'm just gonna draw some little lines, kind of like this. As long as they kind of go straight kind of across like that, they'll kind of look kind of like a wood grain. Okay, and then I'm going to glue my little books on that I just drew. I'm going to give a little space here between each or a couple of the books so they look like they're stacked on the shelf there. All right, and then I'm going to glue my little notes here. I will say, have a great day. And let's do another one that's like important thing is like drink water. <laughs> You know, like little things that, you know, you're like, oh, I kind of forget that kind of stuff. All right, I'm doing a tiny little dot at the top of my little tiny note here. Um, that's kind of like supposed to be kind of like the little push pin. Of course, I'm just gonna glue that down. All right, and then because it's kind of an old cork board, I'm gonna add these kind of little kind of dot groupings in here. It's kind of like, oh yeah, these are kind of maybe where like tacks were hitting or something. All right, now to finish off that adorable little card. Oh my gosh, so precious. I'm just gonna tie my little bow here along the side. And I'm just gonna put it wherever there's space. And um, since my there's some extra space down here in this kind of corner, I'm gonna tie my bow. If you are alone trying to tie a bow and it keeps like doing this, here's my hint for you pull it tight and then twist it around so then that way it doesn't want to move on you and then you can just tie your little bow that's my, my hint my tip all right and now to finish that off i'm just going to go ahead and trim that down all right and there we have card number two. Oh my gosh it's so cute look how fun that is Oh, I forgot to draw the tail. So try to draw the tail on the little notes. And since I, of course, had trimmed off his little face there, I'm just adding a couple little lines here where I had accidentally trimmed off the little black lines just to kind of make that look a little bit more finished. And because I'm using a slicky pen, it's really fine point. I'm actually going to double the thickness of my line here. So that looks like it's part of the, it's the same thickness as my stamp, um, my stamped image. All right. Okay, there we have it. All done. How fun is that? Oh, so cute. All right, and then of course you can write whatever you would like on the inside. Okay, those are the two cards for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.